Hi. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use the dashboard software to update your Super Elite firmware. This is going to be one of two methods that we use to update the firmware. The other one is going to be using a USB thumb drive, and I'll show you that in a totally separate video. So if you're coming to us from YouTube, I'm going to show you exactly how you can get to our support website in order to download these files, as well as to download the uh, dashboard software if you haven't already done that. Um, so let's start there. Our support website is support.activenetwork.com forward slash IPCO, and that will bring you to a page that looks exactly like this. In order to get to our downloads, you're going to come down here under Featured Articles, and you'll see a link called IPCO Downloads. On this page, you'll see two options. Well, you'll see three options, but the two options that we're going to be focused on today are IPCO Software and IPCO Firmware. For the software, which is going to be where we find our um, dashboard software, we're going to click on that. It'll bring us to a page like this and we'll click on Dashboard. This is going to bring us into our primary dashboard installation instructions. This will give you um, a basic walkthrough of how you can install and launch your uh, dashboard software. Do note uh, that, your, uh, excuse me, that your attachments are located down here at the very bottom. That's where you're going to get the uh, primary installation. There is also a link down here that you do want to make sure you follow. It says to update the most recent version of dashboard, click here. And we do want to click on that. Um, this will bring you to a page like this. Make sure that you follow these instructions exactly as they are shown to get um, your software updated to the most recent version, which is 3.1.0.19. Uh, you will need this version in order to follow along with the rest of the video. So please, please make sure that you do this exactly as it is shown. Otherwise, it will not work properly. In order to get to the firmware, we're going to go back to our downloads link, and that's right here, and I'm going to click on firmware. That'll bring me to a page like this, and we're going to see an option that says Super Elite Dash Octal Firmware Upgrade, and that'll take me to this page. Let me scroll back up to the top. So you'll see a page that looks like this. Obviously, if you are finding the video on this page, then you already know how to get here. Um, but for many of you, you will be coming from YouTube, and this is um, this is exactly how you'll be getting to this. So in order to get the firmware files themselves, you're going to come down here under Attachment. And just like in the other, um, the other page, you'll find all three files listed here. So I've got a change log, I've got an octalpatch.dat file, and I've got an octalpatch.sig uh, file. You'll need all three of those, and you can download those anywhere you want to on your computer. Just make sure that you remember where they're located. So in this case, I've downloaded them to my desktop just to make it a little bit easier so you can see that. Um, and I've already obviously got dashboard installed and running on my computer. The first thing we're going to need to do in order to actually get things running is to turn on our Super Elite Reader. And I've done that already. And I've got it connected to my computer via an Ethernet cable. And I'm going to click Connect. So you can see it shows you the Super Elite Reader and it shows you the current version. If it does not look like this or if it says anything other than 3.1.0.19, please go back to the instructions that I mentioned before and um, be sure that you've got this up to date. Uh, the first thing that we're going to need to do is go down here to this little question mark icon, click on that, and click Open User DIR. And that will open up a folder that looks exactly like this, or it should look very similar to this. If you have uh, done this process before, then you should know that you need to go into your Octal Files folder, and you should have um, some files already listed there. If you've never done this process before, then you will have no files in here, and that's OK. So I'm going to select the files that I've downloaded from the website, and I'm just going to drag them in here. And it will ask me if I want to replace the files, which, like I said, if you've already done this, you can go ahead and click Replace Files in the Destination folder. And that will um, effectively put those in there for me. So I can go ahead and click uh, the X box. And that will bring me, bring me back to my main dashboard screen. The next step is going to be to come down here to this little icon. It's the second from the left. I'm going to click on that and go to Reader Update. And then I'm going to come over here to Load Patch. There is a warning message. You don't need to worry about this. You can go ahead and click Continue. And it's now going to go through its process. I'm going to fast forward the video so you don't have to sit through the entire thing. OK, 
So please note that during this process, you will actually see some messaging come across your octal screen and that is perfectly normal. And then the reader will actually restart on its own. <clears throat> You'll see this message pop up here as well. It says process has timed out. Reader should restart automatically. I'm gonna click okay on that. And I will click okay here where it says connection reset. At this point, my reader has restarted. It should look normal to you now. And I'm gonna go ahead and click connect just to verify that it is up to date. Okay, so now it says super late reader and it shows me my current version. This, as of the making of this video, is Octal version 1.4.0.95. That is the most recent version and it shows me everything else that I need to see. I can set my time and now I should be good to go. That's pretty much it. And as I said, there will be another video showing the process for uh, doing this via the USB thumb drive. Thank you.